Hey there everybody, how you doing? And well, hello there. It's a beautiful day today. And I think we're still in spring, right? I think we're still in spring. Just having a quiet afternoon. I did some work this morning. And you know, if, if you work on computers, if you work with computers on a daily basis, you may experience this. For example, staring at a screen for more than four or five hours kind of gets me buggy eyed and I have this incredible need to just get away from it as much as possible. And I figured I'll do this, right? It's a really, it's a really, it's a really beautiful day, and the weather last week was a bit cold, but now it's just today is a perfect day. There's a bit of a breeze, and the sun is out, and I just went for a little, this little trail hike. Nothing really extraordinary. And now I'm just sort of chilling out and resting. And as I'm in my van here, I'm thinking to myself, I really need to figure out what I'm going to do with the air conditioning. So in terms of staying cool in the van, there's a few things you could do. I'm going to try to name off a few and let's see if I can number them as well. Uh, the first thing is what you wear is, is important, right? You, know, you don't want to be wearing a t-shirt, rather a, a sweater. You want to be wearing a t-shirt. And certainly where you park is also important. If you park like what I've done, where you're directly underneath the sun, it's great for the solar power, but maybe not so much for keeping the van cool. So if you park under a shade, it's probably better. I roll down your windows to get some air through, but sometimes that doesn't even work because if it's really, really hot, for example, it's hot and it's humid, it doesn't work that well. What, another thing you could do is you can get yourself a wet face cloth, right? You know, some cold water, some water, get some ice. If you have a, a fridge, a little mini fridge, that's one way to do it as well. Um, for me, I've got a miniaturized AC. Now for days like today, it doesn't really do much because it's more of a spot cooler than anything else. And at nighttime, it does help when I'm trying to sleep. What I do is I feed it underneath my blanket and I create a cold air pocket, you know, just enough to get me going and to cool off. And it definitely is comfortable. However, there is a newer version of it that I was able to, to get. Uh, thanks very much for to Rigid HVAC, by the way. And my challenge right now is figuring out a way to, to install it so that you know at the same time I don't make any more holes in my van but at the same time it actually works and it's vented out that's something that's important to, to understand with, with regards to my my van build and the miniaturized AC that I installed is that it no the it's vented out the hot air isn't making its way back into the vans some people actually said somehow thought that the hot air um, the from the evaporative um, uh, portion uh, the, the hot air from the air conditioner was going, was going back to the van. Not the case. It's actually vented out from the side window. And I thought maybe that's another possibility that I could look into is venting it out from the same way, removing the, the older one, uh, the uh, the original AC that I have, and uh, installing the new one. The, the new one's a bit bigger, but it's also much more powerful. It's over 2,000 BTU. Um, again, I'm not expecting to cool off the entire van just because this thing isn't as it isn't properly insulated. It was a no build at first, and then so I sort of you know, built it out uh, over time. And you guys could you, you can go through my videos and you could see the time that I put up this amazing ceiling. And I think if there's one thing that I'm really proud of, it's this ceiling. It really brought everything together. It, what it did was it unified the look and style of this van build of mine. And that being said, it's looking a little ragged right now. Like it's, uh, I haven't been really 
like it's things are starting to sort of you know rattle and shake and kind of fall apart so I, I'm gonna need some time to sort of do a bit of fix-ups here and there but it's doing its job what I needed to do and I'm very happy so for the times that I you know that I do travel and I need to sort of stay somewhere really quick and easy to like I, I can easily park anywhere and just sort of have my nap I can rest uh, it's great for if you're going out for a day or so or maybe an entire day to a, a park or a trail you can pretty much spend your entire day in that area or you, you take your time with the trail knowing that you have a crash pad here you can basically just relax so those are things that I've always mentioned in my videos and I'll tell you it, it really is something that made a big difference in, in my little life and I think it's one of the best things that I've ever done and I kind of wish I'd done it sooner but you know hey I'm doing it now right so that, that's good so the uh, staying cool during summer I mean it's gonna get hotter and you know being able to stay cool is very important the other option is you know if you're living full-time in your van then you may want to consider driving somewhere where it's colder or cooler higher elevations will give you much cooler temperatures maybe also near a lake things like that you know staying out of sun I think I mentioned that earlier uh, optionally you, you can always go visit them all right there's always air conditioning in there and it's really the nighttime that I think is difficult when you're especially if you're stealth camping you don't you don't want to make too much noise but uh, I know some people they've got the what do you call it the max air fans installed in the roof of their van and you know that seems to do them very well and you know good for them right uh, opening keeping a window open but at the same time you, you want to stay safe you you know you don't want anyone sort of like poking inside or trying to figure out what's going on so uh, there's a lot of things that you can do to stay cool uh, in your van but really the, the, I think the, the best way in my viewpoint especially if if you're in the city where you know you really can't keep your like for example here I have my side door open so I'm, a, I'm able to stay fairly cool I do have the Sun kind of beating down on my leg right now it's kind of burning it up so I'm gonna just going to close this off a bit maybe there we go there we go okay now we have less less air going through but at least you know it's not too hot <sighs> yeah So peaceful. Still got my plans. Still planning to head out west. This is one, this is an ongoing thing, and you know, sometimes you have these plans and things sort of sort of just come up out of nowhere and you have to deal with it, and that's just the, the way life goes and you want to be, at least I want to be as positive as I can. I want to be proactive and be able to just deal with the situation. And I think, um, I think I've been doing that pretty good. I'm, I'm happy about that. Aside from that, uh, life is simple and things are, are good. I'm fairly happy with how things have turned out in the last three years. When I started this YouTube channel, when I started my van build, and just sort of just going through just working out how things are going to work out in terms of what I'm going to be doing next I, I mean I've gone through a lot of transitions uh, professionally career-wise uh, you know, right across the board on a personal level as well and at each turn you know my little escape pod <laughs> has always helped out so uh, yeah, so get your own escape pod, everybody. Uh, I think, I, and, it, and again, it doesn't have to be a van. It could be anything, right? Just as long as you can find a place to sort of like a place of respite or a place of where you can just really think things through and just relax a bit. Okay, guys, thanks for listening to me ramble. I really appreciate uh, the subscribers and people who, who comment and, and like the video. Um, I have no idea, really. Um, I mean, there's so many other YouTubers you could watch, like tons, a bazillion times better than my content. And, and maybe mine is, is mine's very different. I'm just putting stuff out there. Uh, I don't have any 
real plan to do anything remarkable with this channel but just to sort of just share information and, and you know where things are going in the beginning you know I, I, I posted videos and how I was making stuff so that I could refer to it as well but also shared it so that other people could could, could look at it you know and along the way you I get I get subscribers and stuff and and you make a couple of bucks here and there definitely nothing you can live off of at least in my case I know some youtubers literally it's their full-time job they're like they're professionals right but uh, I, I don't I'm not relying on YouTube to pay my bills because at this point in my life I don't have to which is not bad right <sighs> okay guys okay thanks very much five four three two one see you later and remember you're awesome bye bye